Hi there, this video today is gonna to go through a really simple but uh, good little thing that we can do with a video editor in Windows 10. So that is compiling a list of, uh, grabbing a list of photos and just making them into a slideshow, something that I see us do, or, you know, a lot of people do all the time. So it's really simple to do with a video editor in Windows 10. So I'm just searching for video and choose video editor. So all we need to do here is uh, import the photos and the photos will already be there if you've done the video editor before and then just arrange them in the timeline and it's really easy. So here we go, here's the video editor. So I'm going to start a new video project up here and I'm going to give it a new name. So let's do um, slideshow and I'm going to add to the project library so there's nothing in here. So you get some selections here from the PC, from your collection or from the web so you can actually add pictures from the web which is really cool. But in this case here, let's say I've got a number of pictures that I have captured that's on my camera roll and I'm going to grab those. Alright so I've selected the three photos that I want now again I could select a lot of photos just by going uh, selecting the first one hitting the shift key and then selecting the last one that will enable me then to select a whole heap of photos to go in there but I'll just select those ones and click on open the photos will then be ready to go um, will appear here and will be ready to go to add into your timeline so or into your storyboard so uh, with all of them selected I can just go place in storyboard and there's all the photos. So by default you can see each photo is lasting for three seconds. So another really good thing here, again if I click the first one, shift click the last one, is that I can change the timing of each of them. So if I change that now they're all two seconds long. So you can give a particular photo uh, a different time if you want to. So uh, if I deselect these ones and say, right, I want that first photo now, I want the duration of that photo to be five seconds. All right, so you can customize it if you want, but the very simplest, dump all your photos in there, change the duration so they're exactly as you want. So then you can look at your video. So this first photo is going for five seconds and the other photos will go for just two seconds there. All right, cool. So we've got this slideshow going now with all of the photos in there. And again, you can adjust it as you want. You might say, look, you know, two seconds is not enough. So oftentimes when we do this, we want to have a title card at the start. So I'm going to click on add a title card and I'm going to drop that right at the start just by clicking and dragging it there. So, so now I've selected that title card here. If I go to the text, so I can change this to um, end of year, something like that. And then I can just have a look through all of the different styles that I want that to look like. So we've got a heap of different things here that you might want to look at. Um, let's go for um, adventure, classic, joy, yeah, joy one, okay. And I've also got some options about where that appears on the screen. So I'll go for the middle and I've also got how long that's gonna last for on that three second slide, done. So now if we look from the start here, we've got three seconds of that slide there. And I've also put some text over that first one, which we can do as well. Okay, so now we wanna add some music. All right, we've got the first slide in there, we've got all of our slides in there, and now I can click on background music at the top here. So you've got heaps of options. So there's a lot of options that you can choose here. Um, so you preview them all. You can say, yep, I like that one. Let's sync it, uh, the video to the music's beat. We can change the volume of how much we want the music. Hit done, and now that music will play all the way through your video. That's it. Now if you want to, you can upload custom audio. So if you've got an audio file, you can add it here and you can play that over the entire length there as well if you want to. So uh, that's really a real simple way that you can put all your photos in, you know, I only put a couple where you can put heaps in, put a title card, put some sound in, and you have got a really cool looking video. Now without even exporting it, you could then go full screen and show this full screen like this, okay? So even if you didn't want to export the file, um, that's one way that you could do it. But most of the time you'll probably want to export it. So up here, finish video, you get some options about what quality video you want, go for the 1080, 
then hit export. Uh, you've got a few more options, but I just get export. That will give you a video file that you can then upload if you needed to to a cloud based service or just play that video on your computer. So, there's just a quick overview how you get a bunch of photos, put some music to it, and create a slideshow. Uh, especially great for end of year celebrations.